What is up guys, Age of Masters here, today doing a LEGO Ninjago Masters of Spinjitzu 2017 Hands of Time set review. This is item number 70621, the Vermilion Attack. This set contains 83 pieces, and on the front of the box, you can simply just see the Vermilion Attack, you can see the minifigures, and you can see the Hands of Time logo in the bottom corner. On the back of the box, you can just see the functions and the one collectible time blade that comes with the set. When the set is fully complete, you have three different minifigures, you have five different snakes, two of which are hiding, and then you have this sort of plant structure in the middle. Firstly, taking a look at this main structure, you can see there's a lot of little details in there. You can see these little sort of vines hanging off on both sides. You've got little colorations of dark brown in contrast to the light brown. In addition, you've got this little lime green piece to resemble grass. You also have these pieces up here, these little olive green uh, slope pieces, which I assume are supposed to represent leaves on branches. And then you have the actual time blade in the middle, which I'll take a closer look at a little bit later. Now this thing's actually removable because if you look, you can see there's actually a saw which just attaches it. What I do is just pull it up like this, and it can be a little bit tricky. And you can see there are two, actually two, little sockets that you connect it in. One is hiding in the bottom, but there are two. And you can just place that back in like so. Now once again, this can be kind of tricky because you may try to pull it out like this and then the time blade will just come off, which is a little bit annoying, however, it's not too big of a deal. And since most people just want access to the time blade anyways, that's fine by me. The back of the structure is a whole lot less intriguing. There's really nothing too much going on here. There are these two little clips on both sides. Not quite sure why they're there. I didn't see any sort of combination models and in instructions, but those are there. But the main thing that you can see here is there's this little lever. Now what this will do is this will activate a function. So what you do is you basically just pull a lever up like so. And the top part of this little vermilion shell, I'm not 100% sure what's that called, so you guys can tell me that in the comment section below. What that will do is that this part will launch off the top, revealing these two other snakes inside, which unfortunately these do not actually launch out at, say, Kai, but it is still kind of a cool function. And taking a look at it from the front view, you can see what that looks like. Taking a look at the minifigures, you can see two Vermilion and Kai. Now, this specific Vermilion has a brick-based weapon which you just build up from the ground. It's actually really cool. It has these two little transferred cheese slopes on the ends and it just looks really nice. In addition, this figure has a really, really cool dual molded helmet where you can kind of just see how it slopes around and then the two trans red snakes come out from the top. It just looks really, really cool. This vermilion in the middle also is really cool. It has a really cool sort of warrior armor with you can see the shoulder pads snakes and then his helmet also has snakes coming out of the side. Then Kai also is very cool with some black arms and then just some cool printing in the middle. Taking a look at the back of the figures, for Kai you can see a little symbol. For the Vermilion all the way on the end you can see there's actually some snakes coming out which looks really cool. And then for the Vermilion in the middle you can see there's just a stud on the armor. However that is cool because you can obviously add stuff to the back of the armor if you want to. Removing the armor and weapons on the front side, you can see nothing too f different. However, the vermilion in the middle actually has a really cool printing. You turn them around to the back and you see once again, nothing too different. However, both the vermilions have alternate faces and Kai does not. And in addition, Kai actually has the same face that they've been using before, despite the rumors that he may have a different one. However, you'll have to check out my Dragon's Forge review because there may actually be a different face in the Dragon's Forge, however, I am unsure at this moment in time. And here is what the Time Blade looks like on Kai. Now the Time Blade itself is actually a very, very cool print. It's a combination, in this case, of a trans green and orange, just dual molded together. And it just looks really, really great. You can see it just kind of fits straight onto his fist like that. It kind of acts just kind of like a claw, but it just looks really, really cool. And I really like the way this came out. And I look forward to getting the rest of them and seeing which one is my favorite. So overall, I am very pleased with how the Vermilion Attack came out. The set, although it is a small $9.99 set, is actually very good. The function, although a little bit lacking, works very well and actually does offer a lot of playability. And little things such as the vines actually add a little bit of playability because you can get extra poses out of them. 
I like the idea of just going to rescue the time blade. I think it's very cool. However, there's also that trap inside that you can um, activate by using the function. And the mini figures are just phenomenal. This is a very nice cheap way to get two of the new Vermilion figures and Kai, who's one of the main characters in this storyline along with Nia. And the only real bad thing about this set is that it is a little bit lacking in the function in certain ways such as you know those snakes can't fly out which although that shouldn't be expected you know that'd be really cool if there was a way that they could do that in addition you can only fit so many snakes inside without actually physically bending the piece because you can try to fit all six snakes inside but the only way you're gonna be able to is by bending the snake piece which for some people that's fine some people aren't gonna like that they're gonna have to fully bend the piece in order to get the top part of that little cocoon on but yeah that's pretty much it the set itself is very solid and I definitely would recommend it. There's a lot of nice little details in it and overall it's just a very nice little sort of $10 set. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about this set in the comments section below. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.